WIW. iRadio 76 proudly presents the 515 Show with your host, John Sarver. Who's at the 515 door today? Hey everybody, John Sarver here, CKWI Radio 76. News breaking like crazy out of Lapeer. Uh, I should say, be technical, Lapeer International Dragway. Because we have talked, this gentleman has been on with us for so many times, and we talked to him extensively, and uh, whether it be um, on the drag strip in front of the courthouse steps, <laughs> it's everywhere. It's Bill Jennings, the owner of Lapeer International Dragway. Hiya, Bill. Hey, how you doing? Dandy. Okay, so now here it comes. Everybody is just flipping. Because this is the time has come, and we've you've talked to me about this idea for a couple of years now, and it was it took kind of some different roads to get here. I mean, one I think was different cities, you know, that would be representing themselves or, or something. But this is out of this really came together. So now you have three other drag strips right with you right now. Um. And tell the folks who who perhaps have not seen uh, the announcement, how is this all coming together? Well, I mean, like you, like you said, I've been trying to get this together for a while. And then, um, I mean, I talked to Woody uh, when he first bought on Dega about possibly doing something or trying to do something. Uh, I've talked with Northern. Um, I, I talked with Ugly at one point, but yeah, but let's not go into that. Um, and then, uh, you know, since the new owners of Milan, Harry and Perry bought Milan, I've talked to them and we've had extensive conversations about many things. And, uh, the key objective here is to, to work together to try to, you know, build this sport up. And, you know, if we can all work together as track owners, then we can spread this out and where everything is, everything is more, uh, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? Um, cool. <laughs> uh, <everything>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I kind of I just walked out of something, and uh, I'm a little excited right now. And <laughs> uh, you walked so out of something. Yeah, I just kind of talking with my lawyers, and uh, you know, just got some good news, and kind of uh, a little ecstatic right now. On personal good news or something to do with wood? We finally got our court date in the Court of Appeals. Hot dog. And that wasn't the first word I was going to use. So what is the date? Uh, the date is April 12th. April 12th. And where is it going to be at? Uh, in Detroit, Court of Appeals. All right. So the Detroit Court of Appeals. So, okay. So now, in case you want to get a bus and join... Uh, Bill Jennings and myself down at the Court of Appeals <laughs> in, in Detroit. It's easy and fun to do. Wow. Good for you, Bill. God bless. Long train coming. All right. So now, yeah. let, let's, Jesus, we got so many breaking news here. All right. So the Court of Appeals, they hear your case. And this is for lifting all the injunctions for a lid, correct? That's correct. Okay, and so is there any other step above this? I mean, is this the final, final, final? And I'm using air quotes when I say final, 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 because we've said that already. No, it's, it's not the final step, but it, it uh, for all uh, means and purposes, it, it should be. All right, so here's the story. Let, let's fill people in. As we all know, the, the, the craziest, I mean, this is a mini series all by itself, you know, for... Uh, Obviously, Bill Jennings, who took over um, the Pier National Dragway, and has nothing. But it's it's the weirdest thing possible. Here's a guy with good intentions and lots of money, and he could have easily gone to any kind of like um, island and had plenty of uh, servants and having nothing but mint juleps giving to him. But he said, no, I want to take over this in our opinion. <laughs> like how we did that, Bill? Uh, a, a real rundown slum of a track, you know. I mean, it wasn't. I mean, real. I don't even think they had flushers, and it, it was bumpy and top end, and it looked like 
you know, a science project, in our opinion. So Bill goes in there, dumps hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars into this place, and then gets nothing but headwinds for his troubles. And right when he thinks he's cleared everything and the law is on his side and stuff, some bizarre stuff comes out of left field. And this is, I mean, Bill, when did we start all this? When did you start all the court stuff? Do you remember what year? Yeah, it was uh, early 2019. 2019, and we're in early 2023 right now, and it's been nothing but attorney fees, attorney fees, attorney fees, and it's going to be silly. Uh, you know, God bless if you can counter sue to recoup all that cash because that money would at least, at least, you know, get you a couple of uh, Plymouth Superbirds all number matching Hemi cars. <laughs> well, <laughs> so, hundreds of thousands of dollars. I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars the first week I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're at, we're upwards of uh, about seven and a half million invested right now. You invested seven and a half million in the pier. Yes. Wow. And you still have that broadcast booth? The hell. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of the, a lot of the things that I purchased aren't up yet because I had to slow my roll and make sure I had enough money set back to writing it all lawyered. <sighs> yeah, man. Okay. So all right. So now we got to the fourteenth of April and can the parameters and, and the legal profession as you probably learned real fast can get weird but basically you just said hey look you know look at the merits look at the law you know dear court of appeals they can either say yay to you or nay to you right and now if they say nay to you is there anywhere up further you can take this? But they shouldn't say nay to you, but I'm just trying to figure out all the other options here. Well, there's a very, very they would say nay. No and kidding. if they did, we would go back into, uh, back into circuit court, and then we, or, or we could go for another round of, of appeals. Uh, but uh, we shouldn't have. Do that. No. I mean, the township is on me. We did everything legal. We hired experts. The township hired experts. The 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 main thing is the people of the county or of the township. They uh, they voted for this. I was going to say so, they love you, man. Yeah. So for the for that circuit court judge uh, to overrule the township and what they wanted is illegal in itself. Crazy. All right, yeah, and we know that, I mean, it, it almost, you, we always, every time that you went to the court, we always had a bottle of bourbon nearby just because you knew something weird was going to happen. <laughs> you know, and, you know, let's tell you, you're living it. I mean, and we're just on this side of it. All right, so the 14th comes, uh, Court of Appeals go, oh, my God, Bill, you've been wronged. Here, son, we're ripping up all the bad things. You run your track the way you can. Do you, does is there like a time factor? Do you have to like wait a couple of months? Can you start running right away? How does that work? Well, I usually, from what I understand, in these situations, once they make their decision, it's expected right then. Really? Yep. Really? So I'm thinking, will there be like a um, burnout contest on that day <laughs> at Lid? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I tell you what, the first event that would would handle it would be a, a late night. <sighs> My God, can you imagine the barbecue at Lapeer International Dragway when the courts give Bill Jennings the thumbs up? Oh, kids, take the next day off. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Wherever you may well, we be. Got a lot of That's for sure. All right, so now, okay, so now we're kind of off to the right. We We love that. That's good. that's a hell of a breaking story here on CKWI Radio 76, and you're hearing it here first, right from the source, just like we do it. Um, now, let's go talk about what we originally was, were talking about, and that is, so how is this going to work with the, what are you going to call this, the, the, the peer series, the, you know, everybody in the pool series? How is this, what is this going to be called? Well, actually, uh, what is going to be quarterback in it as far as the rules and so on? And there's four tracks involved in the drive and drag. Or I'm sorry, not the drive and drag. End of the, uh, the no prep point series. And we're going to do the first one. The finals will be at, at Onondaga at Woody's place. 
and then like next year we'll do the finals at Lid, and and that's just with the four that we have so far. Now I've talked with Brian up there at Northern, and they already have their schedule out, but they're going to watch to see how this goes with us, and then uh, jump on next year more than likely. Um, and then we'll just we'll keep building it up from there. Okay, so this year it's you, Onondaga, uh, Milan. Um, I don't know if Milan's going to be in on the no prep point series for sure yet. Okay. Um, because so many no prep races going on already. Sure. Um, but I would imagine they would probably get involved next year. Uh, I think there's a track in Virginia, which I believe is Woody's other track that's going to be on. And I'm not quite sure who the fourth track is yet. Okay. But All right. Like so- I said, Woody's quarterback, yeah, because they were, they were kind of the no prep track of Michigan, you know, for the last couple couple of years, so um, you know, they actually got more of the spotlight on it, so we'll let them start it off and kind of take control of that, and we'll build it up from there. All right, so how is this going to work out? Are there going to be individual teams from uh, different tracks? Uh, How is this going to go? That's exactly what it's going to be. Uh, So there'll be a team from each track, and then 12 12 of the finalists and the points will go on to the final race, which, like I said, will be at Onondaga this year. Okay. And then it'll be $25,000. And then uh, second place will well, we'll get, like, I think $1,000. something. But at least we'll have something for the second instead of just a winner take all. But, uh, yeah, it'll be, it'll be a points race, and there'll be money paid out every month, once a month. And then the finals will be for the big money. Okay, so tell everybody that the tracks that are going to be participating this year will be you, Onondaga. Did we miss somebody? And there's, there's one in Virginia. And one in Virginia, and I'm right. Not, I'm not sure who the fourth one is. Me and Woody has just been kind of touching bases back and forth on it, and um, he's getting the rules, and when, when we get all the I's dotted and T's crossed, his schedule is already lined up for this uh, series. Right. we got a fifth and kind of bounce back off of his. But right now in Michigan, it's just me and Woody. Okay. All righty. So just you and Woody this year, and then hopefully growing it to other tracks. Now, are, is there going to be any involvement, I mean, with, with the no prep stuff alone, but is there going to be, I, I know that you're thinking about having a drag week too. How is that supposed to work? So we actually have two tracks that are working with Mylon and myself. Um, one of them is going to be a no prep driving drag, and the other one is going to be a uh, prep driving drag. All right, so prep drag drag. <laughs> God, say that fast. <laughs> a prep drag, and, and right, I mean, we understand where it's going because it's like a speed week kind of thing. That's going to be between you and Myland, and that's going to be just me and Myland. Okay, so that's you and Myland with that one. Okay, dokes. Now. Next year, are you hoping to open that up to more tracks who would like to participate? Absolutely. All right. So now, if you're going to be doing kind of like a, a drag race or week between uh, you and Milan, how does that work out? Well, so this it, these ones are actually they're not our events. These are these are two promoters. Okay. And so I know one of them is going to be. Friday at Milan, Saturday at Lapeer, and then the runoff uh, is going to be Sunday at back at Milan. So a lot of the stuff is kind of in its infancy. It's just the fact that we're finally actually breaking ground and getting it done is uh, what I'm excited about. Because nothing happens overnight, and you know, it's just uh, you got to start in order to build, right? Yeah. Okay. So when were you thinking about starting this? This year? Next year? This year. This year, okay. Do you have a date for that yet? Uh, One of them is in June, and I believe the other one is in September. Um, I don't have my schedule right here in front of me. Like I said, I I was on the phone with a conference call with my lawyers for the last couple hours, and (laughs) kind of... You are excused. Okay. Yeah, Yeah, my fault. Okay, so if you have that going on, so what's going to be the parameter? If, say, you have a motor mountain car... You race at Milan, and then you drive up 
God, what will you take from Milan to you? 75 or whatever, some whatever you take. You drive to Lapeer. On Saturday, you draw, you race at Lapeer, and then you turn right around and you take public streets and you drive right back down to Milan and you drive there. Is that how that would work? Yeah, I'm assuming it's going to be uh, going to be the qualifiers on Friday, and then uh, then they'll probably drive maybe drive to Lapeer, camp out overnight, and then. Uh, then go back to Milan in the morning and run, or, you know, I'm not sure exactly how they're going to decide to to go about it, but, yeah. That's It'll amazing. qualifiers, racing it up here, and then back to Milan for the, for the runoff for the final. Do you know, Bill, would there be, like, say, next year or something, if other tracks are, are keen to it, would they be able to participate in this, or is this just going to be you and Milan? Oh, no, I mean... A promoter event, and it's a uh, kind of a way to you know knock the icing off to get it started. But uh, I I definitely want to keep going with my same plan is to get uh, at least the majority of the tracks in Michigan all together. And um, and like me and Brian Ledford have been talking, you know he had a great idea of bringing back the uh, you know just the Michigan Nationals uh, or the Michigan Finals for the bracket series to where. It doesn't matter who people are sanctioned with, and me and Milan and, we, and uh, a couple other tracks have already got on board with this. We just haven't actually got things uh, fine-tuned yet because there's been so much stuff going on with LID, with this injunction, and you know so on. But uh, that'll be the same kind of concept where we'll do a bracket finals. So it'll be non-sanctioned denomination, denomination, <laughs> denomination. <laughs> <laughs> No churches involved, okay. Outlaw, outlaw, track, IHRA, WDRA, NHRA, it doesn't matter. You just, each track will send their best guys to go to these finals. Uh, and it'll be, you know, something aside from our sanctioning team piles. Wow. All right. So, you know, let's go back just one step. What's happening was, and we've really had a, a lot of folks ask us and, and talk to us, because they saw kind of what you, you wrote yesterday and what you tell, were telling us, and it, folks love the fact that, that um, there's going to be like a drag week in Michigan with all the tracks here, as opposed to having to go down to Bradington. I mean, Bradington's like nice and stuff if you do sick week, but you know, what would be better than instead of going down to Florida in the summertime or in the, in the wintertime to, to, you know, go to say Livonia? <laughs> How exciting would that be that you could do all the Michigan tracks, you know, do a drag week in just the Michigan tracks where you don't have to pay you know, because that's a lot of money to drive from Michigan down to Florida. Although it's a very cool thing, and and, and you know, more of these um, uh, drag weeks are, are becoming more and more popular. But boy, oh boy, Bill, if if you pull this one off with Michigan tracks in Michigan, holy jump, the sky's the limit. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm pretty excited. I think it will. Yeah, it's gonna take off. I can't imagine a track saying no. You know, I mean, because really, go ahead. Well, this year we we're kind of late on the jump on it, and you know, most tracks have the schedules out already. And I mean, to be honest with you, I haven't scared to really move forward too much on on too much because of the stupid injunction. But yeah, yeah, next year, next year we'll be able to, you know, take a bite out of the apple early and get everything rolling. Yeah, but, I mean, if you can see the future in the crystal ball, if if we're talking 2024, you know, I, I couldn't, if if everything, if you had a magic wand and kind of thing, you know, if you could have a drag week from northern, I mean, you would hit every corner of the state. If you go northern, 131, scoot over to mid-Michigan, scoot over to everything that's in the, in the middle side of, you know, like the ugly, come down, see you, come down, see Milan, come down, see Onondaga. Man, that'd be a hell of a trip. Yeah, no, it would God, yeah, you know, in Milan, did I say Milan? Yeah. Yeah, you know what? Didn't that thing? Didn't that built up? I think it would be amazing. And, um, I think we got to get a little bit of recognition for it. Start off small first, and then um, you know, like this is kind of like a like a trial thing here. See how it goes, and 
you know, build from there. Yeah, but who wouldn't want to have a Michigan Drag Week? A lot of the things that stop folks from doing it is not only is it sometimes a weird, you know, you can't get time off of work to do it and stuff, but seriously, driving some hot rods all the way to Florida, you know, it, it's kind of some folks don't have that kind of money. But, you know, if you could, you know, keep it within the state, you know, that would be a huge alleviation. Yeah, uh, the, the thing that we really got to fight with here is that the weather is so much more unpredictable here. <laughs> That's true, too. Yeah, but then again, you know, it, it's, whew, my God, it, it the mind just, just wanders of how cool this could be. Um, and really, the, uh, to go to, say, Northern, which is, you know, really nice, depending, you know, if you do it in the fall or whatever. And, yeah, you're right. I, I, don't, I don't think I'd do it in June. <laughs> In Michigan, you know, and, and October gets weird here too. But still, you know, you're right. There is some things to look out for, and yes, you do have to walk before you can run. But the mere fact, Bill Jennings, is that that you're bringing this up and you actually worked it out. It doesn't have to have all seven tracks here, but man, if you're working with one track and seeing how it goes and learn from there and go forward, I'm telling you, man. There, again, and we talked about this last night. There's that dry erase board at, at you know CK here that says "Don't bet against Bill Jennings." Actually, it says William Jennings, but because man, here it comes. Who who thought of this? I mean, it's genius. Well, uh, I, I can't say that I, I'm going to take all the credit. Like for this, honestly, with this was more Woody coming to me with it, where yo, know, I had been I had been on this since I bought the track, but you know I've been kicked in the junk so many times it's kind of like i don't really want to pull the trigger on too much yeah. and not know what this holds you know but uh this is uh definitely a dream of mine and something that i really want to make happen so i mean anybody who knows me knows if i want something bad enough i'm gonna get it at some point never bet against them yeah i mean it's yeah hats off to woody also you know who likes who likes this drag racing um, the no puddle stuff, I mean, pour your own puddle stuff, the no prep stuff, it, he's he's all in, you know, and he's very enthusiastic. Matter of fact, he loves gassers just about as much as he loves, you know, the no prep guys. But now, I mean, look at all the different branches that you have, Bill. Now you have the Onondaga and you no prep thingy. You know, you have the Milan, quote unquote, and you with the drag week to begin with. Now you have the pier, and and we'll go out here, and we'll say on the fourteenth, it's going to be very, very, very loud at the pier International Dragway. You know, we have no <laughs> doubts, no doubts. You know, I mean, I, I will, I'll be the first one to go up there with a diet orange fago myself and give you a toast. You know, thank God <laughs> it's over. Um, I look forward. Whew. Uh, oh man, I'm telling you, Lapeer's going to be like Woodstock once you once we announce. I'm telling you, we'll go down with you, you know, and because we want to be right there at, at the courthouse because <sighs> it would just be a phenomenal day. Anyway, sorry. So we got that going. That going the 14th. If he lifts everything, then do does Lapeer have a new schedule? I mean, do you have like a, a point A and point B schedule? If you have no restrictions. This is what we have planned. Absolutely. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So it's it's actually on the twelfth, but uh, so we we have our schedule, but we've been kind of playing around with it to where we can easily add on to it. Okay. Um, you know, like we'll be adding the Wednesday testing tunes back in. Um, then we'll start running some some testing tunes Friday. Some of the events that are on there, you know, we'll reach out with our promoters or or our own events we'll just extend them to where make some of them will be two day events instead of one day events so on and so forth how about concerts this year i don't know that we're going to get it's so late now that we're finally getting this uh, reversal coming i don't know if we'll be able to schedule a concert or not but uh you can you can bet your ass it'll be one of them next year Okay. All right. Well, I know some people that play like spoons and washboard in case you need them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Suddenly delivering. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, to make a buck. But okay. <laughs> All right. Don't ask. Who 
sound like a fig. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, all right, anything else in the few minutes that we got left, anything else that's coming up that we should know about Lapeer? Because, oh, my God, there's always good news coming out from there. Well, uh, we're going to be, we haven't set a date yet, but we're going to do like a hiring expo here in the next couple weeks. We're going to need to bring in some new staff. Um, Kind of went through and lost a lot of people over the last couple of years with COVID and whatnot. uh, We were short-staffed all last year. I want to go through that again uh, this year, running around like a chick with my head cut off. Mm. You know, uh, Melissa being the manager now, I think it's going to be a lot more structured and you know, she she runs a tight ship, so we gotta make sure she has the staff to do that, and um, you know, look for the best best season we can have. It's phenomenal. As a matter of fact, we have a couple of dates uh, that we want to make sure that we firm up with you because we took a look at uh, who's coming in. I mean, the Nostalgia Outlaws are coming over to your track, I do believe, and um, yes, they are. We that's the one that we're going to be coming in hot to see what's going on with you. We actually want to see what's going on April 1st, frankly. You know, I know it's going to be like new muscle car days, uh, but April 1st being the opening day, man, we're, we're trying to do a drag week ourselves to see how many tracks we can hit on April 1st, but we definitely want to start with you. And uh, Well, April 1st, April 1st is going to be a banger. There's gonna, I think there's already 64 cars locked in. Oh, is that right? New- a lot of first round call outs. Wow. Yeah. Hell and, yeah. Uh, I'll tell you what, you guys better have their A game for the first round because they're going to be the first thing on that track this year. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you know what we should do, though, is we should ask because uh, I know we get this asked a lot who's prepping your track this year? Well, this year is going to be me, and then I'm training a couple other people. And then uh, we got Rob that helped last year with it. Um, yeah, pretty much be the mostly the same people that prepped last year. Only we're gonna have you know better materials, obviously, because yeah. BP's got got some new stuff out that's a lot better than uh, that hybrid stuff that they were selling us last year. And then we also and, oh, go ahead. And um, I went down and I went to three of these uh, conventions and hung out quite a bit with Kurt Johnson and picked his brain on a couple things that I thought that I, uh, you know, wasn't 100% on, so I got pretty much that down. Uh, we've uh, got some new equipment. I uh, bought a concrete polisher. We're going to redo the starting line after this first no prep. And, yeah, so it'll be basically a brand new surface again. So the starting line started to take a little beating. It's been four years on it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, polish that again, get that all brand new. There was a little piece of concrete that was coming out there at the starting line. I'm going to hydraulic cement, epoxy that in, and then grind it back flat, and then probably grind out 30 or 60 feet. Just polish it, make sure uh, it uh, stays new, stays a you know, real nice surface. Okay, so now on the fan side of town, what's going to be different this year uh, at the pier? Uh, well, I've got to deal with the guy to come in and paint all the containers. And at that point, we'll be uh, looking to put uh, whoever wants to put some big, huge sponsorships on those. We're going to do some, like, uh, 10 by 20 uh, big board sponsorships on the containers. And then uh, we're going to start working on the bleachers. Hopefully, uh, you know, I get the rest of my materials in here and uh, start getting them up. Uh, we're also working on a new concession stand. Really? And uh, fix up the fence there. Yep. All right. So I'm hearing something about a new tower, a new tower, new broadcast area. Is that what I heard? <laughs> we've, uh, we've got quite a bit of stuff ready to go to where we can move that. <sighs> so, yeah, that, that should be happening this year, too. Hopefully, before you come on to Halloween. Yeah, well, we're hoping. I mean, as much as I like that carpeting up in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that raggedy thing has been there way longer than I planned on. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. 
Bill, thanks an awful lot for coming on with us at, at the very last minute there, but we wanted to make sure that with all this breaking news going on that we get it directly to our listeners from the source, which would be you, and not hearing it secondhand or some kind of, uh, oh, what I heard, what I heard, what I heard kind of thing. Well, uh, you know, I'll always give you the first crack at it. <sighs> Love you, Bill. All right. <laughs> thanks, Bill. Thanks for being with us, man. Bill Jennings. Uh, CKIWI Radio 76. You get it directly from the source every single time, and that's exactly what we got it from himself. Bill Jennings, the owner of Lapeer International Dragway, and I'm telling you, man, we we have this the saying on the dry erase board for so long, and it's no kidding. It's you never bet against Bill Jennings because you never know, you know, what he's going to do, and when he says he's going to do something. Look at this. I mean, really, can you imagine a drag week for Michigan, you know, just for Michigan? That's hip. I know that Ohio's trying it or is doing it. But, you know, to have no prep to go from track to track and then have at, you know, and another branch of all this is to have, you know, a, a kind of all the tracks participating in one kind of big Michigan national. Whew. Stay tuned. And now, and now, you know, with the uh, with the injunction on the 14th at the courthouse, my God, man, guess where I'll be on the 14th with Mr. Jennings. This is going to be outstanding. This should be the last, I know we said it many, many times, but, man, this should be the last, 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 last. We're, we're going to know Whee! if, if the, everything's going to be lifted from the pier. <sighs> <laughs> I say it many, many times, and I'll say it again. Thank you so very much for staying with the only station that only gives you breaking news when it happens, but is the only one that gives a damn about the greatest sport on earth, and that's drag racing. Thank you so very much for listening to CKIW <laughs> Radio 76.